quick video on the setup. Got a pelican catch 100, whoops, 100 that I fished out of for a couple years now. Not too many stickers on. I got that Red Wings Michigan one on there and a couple others. It doesn't know what that icon is. I don't know what it is. Um, nothing too crazy. Scotty rails come with it. A uh, pair of them. Right on the front. They could have been a little bit longer. Uh, this could have been moved somewhere else. That's... I, I need... I wish I could have something right here. Like right here. That'd be perfect. Uh, but uh, otherwise, great one. I gotta put some rails right here. Um, in my videos, you usually see uh, the video coming from uh, behind this seat. And that's uh, from a, a selfie camera stick. One of the telescoping ones. And I've got around the handle part uh, a little bit of a what is it, hot water tank uh, insulation. The the foam noodle stuff that goes around the uh, the copper piping. I found some that fits pretty snug in here. Uh, spray glued the fo uh, the handle on the selfie stick. Put the foam on there. Taped it around. And so when I push it into there, it stays nice and snug. It's easy to get back out, and it doesn't wobble too much. It's got some good shock absorption to it. Um, fortunately I got that in storage right now. <laughs> um, standard milk crate, three rod holder, nothing super tech. Nothing fancy. Standard Pelican seat, love it. Um, I don't run with too much crazy shit going on to be honest. Got a Garmin Striker 4. Standard issue Harbor Freight ammo box. Um, like an 8 amp hour battery. Standard. I'm going, to, I'm going to change this, but for the time being, it's what I can get a hold of. What with the human malware and all that going around. Um, soldered the, the connectors to them, heat shrunk them, color coded, of course. That's going to be a biggie for you. Make sure you keep yourself straight that way. Got to try, uh, what is it, the SAE charge port on it. So when I take it in, I just do a, uh, hook it up to the charger, walk away. And so the beauty with these little batteries is you don't have to, I mean, if you got a, a nice charger for your, your car or truck or whatever, that's awesome. But with a little battery like that, uh, it doesn't take long, even with something that puts out like one amp uh, worth the charge rate. Uh, stick it in overnight and it's going to be over it's charged <laughs> so trickle chargers are great for that um with this it'll like if you're just doing this and like like a, a camera or two and then maybe charging your phone this is no problem it'll run off that for a while uh other cool part here is that it'll show your voltage i want to get like a proper voltmeter just so i can keep a better track of it uh, you can get lost on it if you're not really paying attention to it. Something I can glance down to would be cool. Uh, and that's probably going to come from the little port set that I'm going to put right here. That's going to be all waterproofed with a, a voltage meter on it. Other than that, I love this vessel. Um, looking back on it, I probably would have got the 12 just because I'm a little bit taller. I'm right around 6 foot, 180-ish pounds, 190 pounds. Um, so when I'm standing, it can be a little weeble wobbly for me if I'm not paying attention. Uh, easier in a lake than it is the river, but that's a given with the current and uh, water moving all over the place. But otherwise, I absolutely adore it. I got mine at Dunham's. Uh, I was on sale, and I also had a was it a twenty or twenty five percent off coupon, so it totally left the store right around three fifty. Uh, and for that price, I thought it was an absolute steal. Um, yeah, the seat's great. I just would always have it in the up position. Um, gets along pretty good. Uh, the pad right on the top here. This is a good inclusion. Um, again, I'm a little bit taller, so I would have liked to have like maybe up to here ish a little bit more of this neoprene would have been great. Um, it's getting a little bit hard on me, uh, but I love it. Uh, the measure there is pretty good. Um, let's say you catch a whopper, right? 
and you might be someone short so these foot pedals might be all the way up here so you have to slide them all the way back to measure them up otherwise i like that they they put that there there's not a lot of companies that show here you go here's your ruler um otherwise no, i love it the handles are awesome i put them through some decent amount of use they're not even loose and i pretty much just grab it up and throw it over my shoulder when i'm carrying it so i'm not exactly delicate with it um i've had pelicans in the past. I've never had a problem with this thermo seam. Never. Never. I've never had a problem with this cracking or popping or separating or none of that. Never had an issue with them. Um, otherwise, that's about it. Uh, nothing too crazy. I'm sure stuff will happen, but uh, that's about it. If wonder where I mount... Uh, the actual transducer right now just on a piece of PVC it goes through my slats and stays bungeed in place um, I'm gonna be ordering up a Scotty transom or a Scotty uh, transducer mount rope soon here and be putting it right there uh, or maybe even perhaps back there um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave this setup like this or put the put that on top of the transducer mount we'll see Thanks for watching, y'all.